And thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna transform into a pink alien. So my inspiration was just like doing an alien and I wanted to be a pink one. I saw some artists on Instagram doing this. I will put their username in the description bar from who I got my inspiration. And I'm gonna use this pink base, which is a water-based paint. And I'm gonna use this all over my face, like for a part over my body as well, like my chest area, my neck. Um, and this is gonna like, make me look pink obviously <laughs> and the trick is with this product that you don't have to use too much water this will make it look more transparent and obviously we want it to look like as high coverage as possible so then now i'm going in with this palette from the brand certify and i'm going to use this pink color which is slightly darker than the pink color on my face and i'm going to use that to contour so i'm just doing it at the forehead area i'm also going to do it at the jawline i just want to create like a sort of shadow um, I feel like the more shadows you create on the skin, the more kind of more pro it's gonna look. I don't really know how to explain that, but it's just gonna make it look even better if you kind of focus on creating some shadows. So now I took this palette from Jolie Beauty and I'm mixing those four shades together. It's like a black, a burgundy, a pink shade. I wanted to get like a mixture of those shades. And I'm gonna take a tinier brush, which is the Sigma Beauty F35. Normally I use this brush to yeah, like apply powder underneath the eyes to set my concealer. It's like a really nice precise brush, so I'm gonna carve out the cheekbones. I'm also gonna apply it all the way around my hairline. I kind of want my hairline to fade into the makeup on my forehead, so you don't really see like my skin, like the skin in between the hair and the forehead, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna darken it up and I just kept blending and blending. So first I went in with the mixture of those four shades from Jolie Beauty palette. And then when I felt, felt like that was enough, I went in with a little bit more black eyeshadow and I applied that around the edges. So it's already starting to look better. I feel like if you have blonde hair, it's maybe gonna be a little bit more harder. I have black hair, so this is perfect because the black eyeshadow is gonna fade perfectly into my hair. But if you do this look, you can go for like a bold look or you can do like a wig or something like that. So now I'm going to do the same around my jawline using the same brush, using the mixture of the four shades that I used before. And I'm just going to blend it all the way underneath the jawline. So what I do want to mention, like Halloween looks are very much out of my comfort zone. I, I don't know why, because I actually really love filming this, but... It's just so different from the normal makeup looks I do. So I find it really scary and I was really nervous to upload this video because I have no idea if people are gonna like it. Like I'm not a professional, I don't do this very often. So this was the first time for me as well doing this alien look. And I'm really pr like a perfectionist, perfectionist. So I don't think it turned out really good, but I... Can imagine for someone that has no experience with makeup at all, they're probably like, oh, it looks really cool. But for me, it just makes it kind of like excited for me to upload videos like this because I'm so hard on myself. And I know people on the internet can be also very hard on people. So yeah, I just hope you enjoy this look. I hope you like how it turned out. I know it's not perfect, but I just hope it will give some of you like some inspiration for Halloween. But yeah, now I took a black pencil. I took the Inglot black cold pencil I think in the shade 01 and um, you can use any black eye pencil that you have at home and I'm just gonna create the circle of the eyes um, I felt like this was the only thing that really bothered me I felt like the shape didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be it was like harder than I expected so make it just as round as possible it's really hard to do it on yourself and then now I'm going in with some gel eyeliner and I'm gonna cover up the whole circle I feel like gel eyeliner is gonna like stay in place and if you have like a Halloween party, you definitely want it to like be locked in place. You don't want to worry about your makeup that's going to melt off or something. So I felt like gel eyeliner would work really well. So after that, I'm going to do the same at the other side. I'm actually using a blending brush. Um, this is obviously going to be really hard to remove from the brush. But I felt like this way it's a little bit more quicker. 
Then I took a tinier brush to work a little bit more precise around the edges. I was trying to make the shape of the eyes look a little bit more round and a little bit better. But after seeing like the end result, I think it could have gone better, but it was really hard, especially going on top of the eyebrows. It was just really hard to cover it up. So keep that in mind. And then now for the next step, I'm going to take a little bit more black eyeshadow. I actually go in with most of the time with black eyeshadow for this look. And now I took a wink liner brush from Zoeva Cosmetics. And I'm going to create a, like a really tiny line underneath the whole circle of the eyes. I don't know why, but I saw other people do this. I think this is going to create a sort of shadow just a different cool effect so i wanted to do that as well because i feel like the more tiny effects like little shadows and all of that it's gonna make the look more real realistic a little bit more just looking better so i wanted to do this and i'm just gonna blend the line also with a little bit of eyeshadow just blending back and forth to create really like that shadow effect and i feel like you can really see my eyebrows still super annoying um, if you guys have any like tips for me, that's also welcome to post in the comments down below. I think people in America have a lot more experience. In the Netherlands, we don't even celebrate Halloween. So if you have any tips for like products that you really like or tips and tricks that you have learned through the way, just let me know in the comments. So now I'm also going to create a sort of shadow effect on the forehead. Um, I felt like something was missing. So I just created this shadow. I don't even know what it is. It's just like a sort of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but aliens have like weird things on their face. So now I'm going to take this NYX Cosmetics liquid liner in a white color. And I'm going to create a sort of effect, which is going to make the eyes look a little bit more real. Um, if you want, you can also wear like black contacts, but I don't really like wearing contacts. I find it really scary. So I wanted to create like a, I, when I like close my eyes, it's gonna look like I have my eyes open, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna create like a sort of eye reflect. I really don't know how to explain this, but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So I just created this simple white line and I was kind of scared that it wouldn't apply on top of the gel eyeliner, but the NYX liquid liner is really pigmented, so I had no problems with it whatsoever. I do think the NYX liner is kind of crack, so that's not really nice, but it does have a lot of color payoff, so that's good. So now I'm gonna create a sort of chin effect, just like a line in the middle of my chin and then connecting it with the black eyeshadow underneath the jawline. This is also, I saw someone else doing, so I'm, I just did it as well. I don't know if aliens have a chin like that. I don't think anyone really knows how an alien looks, but I just wanted to add some extra effects. Then now I'm going to take some gel eyeliner again with a wink liner brush from Suifa and I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to make them look a lot more bigger than they actually are. I wanted to create just really plumpy and full lips. So I'm just going to create the line of the shape. And then I switched to a pencil because I was lazy. I felt like this is just so much easier and... I mean, if you're getting ready for Halloween, you want it to make to be like as quick and easy as possible, but still look good. So I just decided to go in with some black eye pencil and then I filled it in again with the gel eyeliner just because I know the pencil is a little bit more creamy and the gel eyeliner is a lot more long wearing and waterproof. So I felt like for my lips, I definitely want it to be like really long wearing. So I just filled in the whole lips and then I set it with a little bit of black eyeshadow just to lock it in place. Then now, again, I wasn't really satisfied. I put my hair in a ponytail, which I wasn't planning to do, but I felt like it looked a lot better. And then I wanted to add like a little bit more black eyeshadow because I felt like you can still see like the hairline and the skin like underneath the hair. So I wanted to make it as black as possible. And then also I wanted to add a little bit more pink paint because I was really annoyed that you could still see like my arms being the color it is so I added a little bit more just for the sake of it now let me know in the comments what you are gonna dress up for Halloween do you already know or do you still not know I know it's so hard I don't even know what like my costume is gonna be but hopefully I can find some inspiration so now I went in with this highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is from the dream glow kit this is the color unicorn which is so pretty it's like a pink highlighter which I thought would be perfect for this look just to give it that extra 
glamorous i mean aliens like makeup too who knows maybe like aliens really love makeup you never know so i wanted to add that and here you have the finished result i really hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also let me know in the comments what you are gonna dress up i'm really curious to know or if you don't know yet maybe we can give each other some inspiration and yeah i just hope you enjoyed and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye guys